What's going on everyone? Talon here here and Gringo and welcome to another random character select uh, So this time we're just gonna be going right into it and see who we get All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Let's get our number it is Seven So let's see what we have in wheel seven I like that first character name I had what, Falcon? No, Hellstrom. Oh, okay. I, was gonna say, I don't know if I really feel like doing Falcon. You want to do a better spin? I don't even think that got all the way around. All right, well, yeah, since... There, there we, we go. go. All right, so you got to hold down the button a little longer, it'll spin. Let's see, Black Bolt. Black Bolt. Okay, I can... <laughs> well, oh, yours, I can is, yours is going to be better than mine. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's jump into the game and get our Black Bolts. All right, and we're back. So now that we have our game up, let's go ahead and find uh, Black Bolt. Yep. Be easy to find mine because he's right up here with my tier twos. <laughs> well, it'll be easy to find mine too because I know I uh, got all his gear to 20 and I was saving the 150 biometrics. But if I can't beat the world boss, which is probably going to be likely, I am going to have to tier two him. Yes, Black Bolt is actually a really good tier 2, so that's uh, something to look at as well. So, okay, let's go to his skills here. So, Black Bolt's tier 2, so when he uses his 6 star skill, the Quasi Sonic Scream, he gets 50% uh, to ignore dodge, gets 100% chance to be immune to all damage for 5 seconds, and then he increases his skill damage by 35% and uh, bonus damage by 30% for 10 seconds. That's on a three second uh, cooldown, so basically every time you're using your fifth skill or your six star skill, um, you're going to be immune to damage and you're going to get a huge damage boost. So that makes him a very, very powerful tier two. But none of his skills give him any, uh, any boosts or anything like that, so you don't really need to level up any of his skills. I mean, because uh, the damage increase isn't too noticeable so you don't really need to get them all to level six unless it's something that gives you like uh increased guards or um a, a attack boost or a dodge boost or something like that so he's just got basically damage and uh and immunity so that's what makes him a really strong and basic character I'll just level him up as much as i can all right, as you can see, I've got all his gears just at energy attack, all attack, all defense. Went with HP for him because of, like I said, the damage immunity, so he doesn't really need any dodge or anything like that for me. Um, and then skill cooldown, just because um, I need the skill cooldown right now. Uh, once I finally get my skill cooldown at an acceptable level without having to rely on my gear, then I will change this to um, defense penetration. Yeah, I think I've got mine set at defense penetration right now, which I wish was still called defense penetration because oh, every time yeah. I see ignore, I'm thinking dodge right away. Yeah, I still call it defense penetration a lot too instead of ignore defense. Yeah, I do too because that's what it's supposed to be called. All right, and um, right now I just have Smart Raccoon for his ISO 8 set, so actually nothing too spectacular there. Um, he does get that extra skill cooldown though, which I kind of, like I mentioned earlier, do need right now. Um, but he could definitely just go with a plain attack set. So like Power of the Angry Hulk, um, Hawkeye if you do need skill cooldown like I do, um, or Overdrive for the um, ignore defense. <laughs> so definitely a, he's really good with an attack based set. I would say that's mainly for his tier 2 though. Um, I didn't play around probably as much as I would have liked with him at tier one so I don't have too good of an idea um, of his skills at tier one I think he's more of a support character at tier one because I don't think he has too much survivability so then me having power of an angry Hulk on him is good <laughs> once you tier two him <laughs> yeah well yeah it should be it should be good right now anyway I'm gonna I can level up his uniform but all right, so his obelisk here is actually not too bad. Um, I think I had this obelisk on him before I um, tier 2'd him, so that's probably why the first stat is dodge, but 
dodge is still useful even if I do have that damage immunity because I think there is a one or one and a half seconds <laughs> between the skill cooldown where you're uh, not immune to damage or where you're wait I don't know what I'm trying to say there where you're able to take damage there we go um, and then next of course I have ignore defense which is a very very high priority stat on any obelisk and then 10% chance while attacking to increase his damage by 140%. So he's basically just going to be cranking out a lot of damage. Hmm. Contemplating whether to just use a tier 2 ticket on him now or not. Hmm. I don't know. You want to give it one, yeah, I'll, one try? I'll try once. And I'll see how it goes. One try and then uh, maybe use the tier 2 ticket. Oh, one. do you have a, um, a uniform on yours? Yes. Is it the old one? Yeah. <laughs> Me too, actually. <laughs> so, um, I do have the all different, or all new, all different uniform on him instead of the Attilian Rising one. Um, I mean, there's not much reasoning behind it, except that I just don't really like how the Attilian Rising one looks still. It's just, I don't know, I don't really like that. I mean, he does look kind of snazzy in that uniform, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit him too well. Um, and then also you do get a damage proc with his, um, new uniform. So it definitely will help his damage. So if like, if I had this uniform on him, I basically have two chances at getting a damage proc. So I'd probably be dishing out a lot more damage, but I'm perfectly happy right now with this uniform. Cause I can do pretty much everything I need to with my black bolt and just, this gives him, um, guard breaks when he's, um, using a skill. So, I mean, that comes in handy, especially for, like, Shadowlands if you want to help keep him stunned. But he does enough damage that it doesn't really come into play that much. So, mainly, I have this uniform uh, for the uniform stat bonuses. The all attack, all defense, and then I also have the skill cooldown and energy attack from ranking it up. Okay, load. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the world boss here. Oh, why did I click on arena? Go to missions. All right. And of course, the best team for him is going to be with his... Where is she? There's me. Brother and wife. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I was going to go with Medusa and Crystal. Oh. Because that is a full, uh, full bonus, uh, or it gives them the full list of bonuses. It gets you the inhuman royalty, so you get the movement speed, uh, crit rates, ignore defense. And then we got the king and queen, so we got energy defense and skill cooldown. And then we got family conflict, which is ignore defense and max HP. And then we have the, I'm not going to try to say that word, sisters, which is all <laughs> defense and dodge. Yeah, Miner so. with his brother instead of Crystal. We got Silent War with Ignore Defense, Critical mm -hmm. Damage, Movement mm -hmm. Speed. We have the King and Queen that has the same as yours. Mm -hmm. We have Contrasting Brothers, which is Physical Defense and Ignore Defense. Okay. And Whisper of Madness, which is Attack Speed and Dodge. Oh, Attack Speed, that's nice. Alright, so I'm just going to go with um, Black Bolt's leadership since he does enough damage. Um, as is with him being tier 2, so I'll just get that energy attack. But Medusa's leadership is definitely going to be a little better if you want the extra DPS just because it gives you 36%. Which is what I just remembered in Switch 2 before I started. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's see. Actually, I will just go in with no strikers since Black Bolt is pretty overpowered at tier 2. Ooh. I'm going to use all damage strikers because mine's not tier 2. <laughs> Well, there you go. And we're let's see what happens. Let's see if I uh, still kill her first, or if you get through the first round. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's any question. You should beat her first. Yeah. All right. Bring it on, Proxima. What was the team up? I already forgot. Uh, it was his fourth skill.
as you can see, his damage is still pretty dang good even without strikers. Alright. Let's dodge those flying spears. There we go. Oh, um, I got stunned. <laughs> Having to kind of use that second skill when she comes around to uh, yeah, kind of try to frame, yeah. yeah try to throw the fourth skill and then just go right through her to hopefully get out of range of her attack. All right, just chipping away at her over here. That was fun. I got stun locked and actually died. <laughs> I, I couldn't even cast. Oh. I could not cast my immunity skill. <laughs> could not cast the immunity skill. <laughs> Let's see. What well, that took? Two minutes or something like that. Alright. Let's go one more time there. Yeah, I just got tagged with something I did not want to get hit with. <laughs> yeah. That's also the one thing I should mention, the only downside to his um, damage immunity from his tier 2 is that it doesn't activate until after his 5th um, skill has started animating. So he doesn't get the full damage immunity until he starts doing the yell. So right here he'll get it. So after that little <laughs> slow-mo part ends from the yell is when he gets his damage immunity. So you can get interrupted and hit during the beginning wind-up, I guess I should say, of it. So that's something to watch out for. Oh, I got halfway through her and died. Yeah. Well, this time I'll just be a little more careful. I was kind of just going in there like balls to the wall because I was like, oh, he's not going to die. He's got damage immunity. And then I get stunned and can't cast the damage immunity. <laughs> well, it's looking like we get to see a tier two in this video. Very nice. Black Bolt is definitely going to be a good tier two to add to your roster to help with the high levels of Shadowland too, or the high floors of Shadowland. That's a lot of lightning damage. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I know why I don't have damage meaning the whole time. It's because I did that mess up with my cards, so I don't have a skill cooldown to cast it fast enough. I was like, I I could have sworn after I did that same skill rotation that I would um, have the fifth skill ready to go and I'd be immune to damage again, but having this lack of skill cooldown actually makes this a lot tougher than I thought. Because I can't cast that skill and uh, be immune to damage the whole time. So basically it's uh, it's giving me about three seconds of downtime that I have to cover up. Eh, you can do it if you're good. Yeah, just gotta play more carefully, which I'm not used to doing. I keep powering through the world bosses lately with uh, strong characters and not even bothering with uh, trying to play around their skills or anything. My phone does not like that skill where Proxima rains down all those like electro bolts. Oh yeah, when I uh, use that skill playing as Proxima, it always lags my phone out.
Well, the last like three seconds, not good for me. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Proxima is like a kind of easy boss to kill in terms of how much damage she can take, but she's a very unforgiving boss because the... Um, <laughs> I just beat her with 98 health left. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to say, because she can hit you once and stun lock you for, like, the full duration of, like, your health. <laughs> yeah, it took a minute 45. That's actually really good. For he never, does a, he does never a lot using damage. him before, really. He does a lot of damage. That's one thing I will give him. That was actually kind of fun using a new character. Especially when you tier two them for the first time, it's always fun to use them. I, I wouldn't go with always. Well, there's there's going to be those part. characters that are just awful no matter what. But yeah, definitely. So anyway, with uh, no strikers, it takes them about two minutes, minute fifty nine for no striker try. Oh yeah, I did strikers, so, but I didn't use the button. I just oh, had the yeah. extra damage. Yeah, I didn't use the co op button at all, even though. Would have only called in Medusa and Crystal anyway, but still. So yeah, Black Bolt definitely is a really nice character. So he's probably one of the top recommended tier twos, I would say. Like um, if you're building up your roster as kind of a newer player, Black Bolt's one of those that when you take him to tier two can help you out with pretty much any game mode in the uh, or yeah any game mode in the game. So and you, he's also one of the characters you can get the biometrics for relatively easily. Since he yeah. is in one of the story missions, so that's like at least 10 a day right there. Yeah. So and if you wanted to, you can use like Shadowland Biometrics or whatever towards him too. Yeah, Shadowland Bios. It takes quite a while though to get him from story because that's how I got him to six stars. It took me quite a while to eventually get, build him up like this to um, uh, enough Bios to get his gears to 20 as well too. Because getting only 10 Bios a day did, did uh, take quite a while, I will say. Yeah, better than nothing though. That's actually how I'm doing my uh, Black Panther right now. Oh, yeah. I've been... Well, I got him actually Black Panther to six stars and kind of just left him there. But he's one I was looking at for ranking up his gear for Tier 2 because he's actually a pretty fun character to play as well. So, so yeah, Black Bolt, definitely a recommended and strong character. So... If you already have him at tier 1 and you're looking for your next tier 2, I would strongly suggest him as one of your options. Um, if you're trying to decide who you want to farm for next, I would include him in your farming rotation. But besides that, that's going to be it for this discussion on Black Bolt. Yep. So unless you have anything else to add. <laughs> no, I'm happy with him using him tier 2 for the first time. I mean, I beat Proxima up. Pretty much with no problem. I got stunned a little just because I'm not really used to the skill rotation or anything. But yeah. I mean, uh, I still managed to beat her even though I had 90. <laughs> I think it was more impressive that I had 98 health left. That's what I should say. So my Black Bolt has 30, 35% skill cooldown. So he's not even close to his 50% yet. Um, so that does hurt him a little bit, but Dang could be worse. even as good as yours. <laughs> so... Yeah, all right, so that's going to be it for Black Bolt. So um, I guess we'll see you in the next uh, podcast. See you guys later.